Hey what's up guys, it's Kim Jin here, 6123 Welcome to another tutorial video Today it's going to be on Microsoft Word 2010 And today it's going to be how to make a basic, semi-basic uh, logo or page or just some sort of design with some images and shapes in Microsoft Word 2010 So let's go straight ahead and open it up Sorry for my slow computer but hey While it's loading you can either select portrait or landscape Landscape is obviously the ideal thing for Photoshop, you know, all photo maker, editors, designers type software packages. So I am going to stick with landscape by going to page layout with these top bars at the top. Then I go in orientation and click in landscape. Then what you want to do is go to page color and then select the color. So I'm going to go with a black. Then I'm going to insert some shapes by going to insert shapes. And then I'm going to have a smiley face in the bottom left corner. Then we're going to change the color. It will make it will automatically come up with drawing tools, format, select your color. I'm just going to go with red because it's just a video to show you how to do it. Also, if you want to add text, you can right click and click add text. I'm going to just put hi. And you can drag that to where you want by going drawing tools format warp text and click through then you can move it to where you want a lot easier and now we know then I'm going to insert another one I'm going to insert shapes and do a let's have a uh, let's, let's have a where is it arrow so we're going to have an arrow here then what you want to do is select the color again. I'm gonna go with purple. That's like pink. Let's not go with that. Let's pick blue. Then you can either right click, like I said, and add text, or you can go to insert word art and then select your type of font. So I'm gonna go with uh, red. Then I'm gonna type in my username. Get and doing hs123. Then you want to drag it to where you'd like. So preferably in the middle. And then if you want to group them click on one of them hold shift and then click that box all right click click group and group and then it is grouped as one oh, what's it done ah yes 2010 is a little bit different for that you have to drag the top the top bit yeah make sure you don't do that you have to drag it groups it as one but as you can see it's separated when I click inside so if you want to move a grouped object you have to click the outside box for it to move otherwise it won't work so just keep that in mind alright so we got them grouped together with some font a smiley face saying hi what you want to do is get an image from uh, Google preferably I don't know, a YouTube logo as if you were designing a logo or something then what we want to do is copy and paste it and then paste as a merge formatting click picture tools format warp text and click through now don't worry that it's moved that to the left you just have to drag it across and there we go we've got a nice little cam gen here it's one two three to the youtube next what we're going to do is we're going to add a zigzag to make it look more interesting so we're going to go to the insert shapes tool and we're going to click uh, this one. Oh, by the way guys if you can insert anything you want so you can insert I don't know images from Google and all that type of whatnot so you know there's no much problem there so I'm just going to move it and it looks kind of spasticatedly thin so I'm just this is just a basic one and I'm going to make that black no I'm not I'm going to make that grey Alright, then we're going to get a subscribe button off YouTube. Sorry my computer is so slow, but hey. So we're going to get a nice big subscribe button. Copy the image. And control, no, not control V. Click, right click, paste options as a merge formatting. Where's it gone? I think it's sent it behind. Hold on, guys. Well, I don't think it copied it all. Sorry, this computer has issues with 
Why is it not copying? Or maybe I need to click. Hmm. Give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. Okay, Microsoft Word has seemed to dislike me now. I do not have the slight clue why. Let me try copying a different image. What are you doing? Hmm. Alright, let's create some space. This is what you've got to watch out for Word 2010. It does this a lot, so you might have the same issues. It won't let you. Uh, it won't let you copy unless. If the image is there, it's not. I was hoping if the image was there, you could then right click and bring it forwards. What's with this issue, man? Oh, there is another easier way actually. You can just simply print screen and crop the image down, but that's pretty, you know, like I said, it is only a basic image and, you know, there is numerous other ways to get it. Alright, so seem to obey me by clicking on the image. I do not wo know what. Uh, no why so you got to watch out for that guys for some reason it will not let you copy the image sometimes and you might have to click on it sometimes I just I don't know I don't know why but it's just worth it so I've got my subscribe button finally what you do as you see I can't really move it that well it's just kind of into the line where my cursor is yeah so come up with picture tools format warp text and click through then now you can drag it to where you like which is a nice design I'm going to add some text to this saying, uh, yep, please, I don't know. And then we're going to add one more thing, but we're going to insert a shape from here this time. And it's going to be this, and it's going to be quite big, kind of on the side, slanted type. How do you, whatever, let's kind of turn that like that, put that to a nice sparkling red. Right click SCE. Let's insert some word art. We'll do green. And we're going to do. Oh, uh, that's annoying. We're going to do. Uh, what should we type in, guys? Let's say. Subscribe. Just put subscribe with loads of exclamation marks. Don't know, just a test. Then you can drag to where you'd like it. So let's put it there, and there you go. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do with this. Um, there is lots of other stuff you can do. Like I said, the copy copying images can be a little bit annoying, but hey. But apart from that, you can create a nice little design with the, you know, the shapes it has already, and all the, you know, you can copy images. And I mean, look at that. That's a nice, a nice decent design. Also, you can change it to how you'd like and nice you can insert an abstract background and do this that and lay your images as well if you want by bringing them forwards and back if you want and you know so just get used to it alright guys that's been a tutorial on how to make a basic uh, logo or design thing in Microsoft Word 2010 and don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel because I have lots of tutorials that will be upgrading I also do reviews and walkthroughs on everything and anything practically and I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.